in the world of kickboxing, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, there is a few, few very famous kickboxers in the history of the sport, and Buakau Benjamin is one of them. He's a global superstar, and uh, here we get the privilege to, uh, to call his chance to become the first three-time world K1 match champion. Either way, history will be made tonight. A new champion will be crowned. His manager, Ian, is going to take the traditional Moncon. He's going to remove the traditional Moncon after he says the prayer. Will the German fighter start out aggressive? He looks pumped and hungry. Guacau looks calm and relaxed. You would imagine there is still a ton of pressure on the sh shoulders of Buakau considering the fact that he is fighting in his own nation. Round number one underway. The max title on the line. It doesn't get any more exciting than this. And Enrico starts with the punches. Oh! Punches Buakau. Buakau looking for that head kick. A very focused Enrico Kale trying to dominate the center of the ring. The both start very hard. And a knee to the body. Scores for Kale. He doesn't want to get overconfident. He outlands Buakau so far, coming out with three, four punches. A nice, beautiful knee by Kell again. Buakau moving his head to avoid the hands of the German supercar. Another uppercut lands. Buakau kicks his uh, cheek down, hitting the punch in the forehead, not on the chin. Gets hit again and catches him with a beautiful left hook counter. Now Buakau moves forward with his knees. Buakau trying to manhandle the man, 10 years, his junior. Nice knee by Buakau. Rico misses with the one. Asserting his dominance. Textbook technique by Buakau. Step in knee scores. And a left hand lands for Kale. A very even first round thus far. With just over a minute remaining in round number one. John Ram, Dean Krillin, Hamilton calling all the action. And there has been a ton of it tonight. Big kick by Buakau, and again, makes it easy in a clinch. Makes it look very easy in a clinch against a really good clincher in, a, in Enrico Kell. Kill not allowing Banchimek to throw him around. That punch by Kale seemed to stagger. Kill is throwing everything he got. Buakau. Uh, but Buakau still looks strong, stays strong, collected. And throws him around. And you see the grin on the face of the Thai legend. German fighter still strong. Great first round. Has to go to Buakau in my books. Just because of the beautiful timing that make him so famous. Very, very calm in there. Huge experience. Enrico Kell had him with beautiful punches though. When he comes with three, four punches, he finds the mark. Buakau lost his balance a bit there. 
and a beautiful left straight by Enrico getting contact in the process with us on a left by Buaca, left hook by Buaca. And crew, for Enrico Kale, what does he need to do differently, if anything at all? You know what, he's, uh, he's doing good when he throws four punches. He has to follow up with the kicks after that. Uh, easy to say, hard to do against a master like of the, in the ring like Buakau. But, uh, you know, he, he, did a, he, he fought well in the first round. He's in a fight still. Uh, Buakau slowly, slowly finds his timing uh, at, the, at the end of the, the first round. And here, here we go, Fox. We, we move into the second round. A slip there by Keel. The mat a little slippery. Both men very focused. They cannot afford to make any mistakes. Right kick blocked by Kale. And there you mentioned it, crew. Combinations, the key to victory. Bulkot dumps Kale, now digs to the body. He hit Kill with uh, big knees and, and, and punches to the body, but Kill is famous for being very, very strong and durable. Incredible balance uh, by the former K1 Max champion, Buakau. Buakau trying to frustrate Kale, throwing him to the canvas, hoping that he is going to get over aggressive start making mistakes that could lead to his demise. Superman punch by Kiel. In one two combination lands, he follows it up with another. This time going to the body and then the legs. Buakau looking to land that knee. Good hands by yes. Buakau. Left hand scores for Kick. Nice kick and moves by Buakau. And this is why. He is one of the legends of combat sports. Probably the best timing in the history of the sport show by any kickboxer. And there you see that timing. And Kale. talking about it. Kale smiles, Buakau smiles, and they keep going at it. Oh! Oh. Buakau almost falls out of the ring. Held by Atushi Onari. Saving our main event. That's a first. That's a first. And we are back at it. As the round comes to an end, another round. It was controlled by Buakau. Atsushi Onari saving the day, catching Buakau from falling out of the ring. Beautiful kicks, beautiful timing. Incredible balance is killed by the former champ. Bukau, well into his 30s, seems there is no sign of slowing down. 
for the Muay Thai master. The pride of Thailand. This is the young German fighter. There was the honor and the respect. Now it is time to throw down. Back to business. Kale just has no answer for the clinch. And Wolkow, who is turning it up for Kale with a smile on his face. Well, the young German is tough and he can take it. He proved that so many times in this tournament so far. Work out putting a show. Give a shout out to all of our fans watching around the world on Fight Network. This is our main event of the night. A max title up for grabs. A minute and 40 seconds left in this third round. Enrico's trying to have the master block out, catches him again with a beautiful time left hook. Oh, and there, a left kick scores for Enrico Kale, now putting his punches together. That definitely got the respect of Buakau. Buakau showed the, the, steel, the steel cheat he possesses. Got hit a lot tonight, but nothing faced him. Last minute of the fight. Checked by Buakau. And Kale has to do something. It's going to be a very tough task to try to pursue the knockout with just over 30 seconds remaining. Warning the two. decision a 
new match champion will be crowned. Will it be the talented youngster, the Hurricane, who tried his best to storm the Thai boxing legend with his punches and knees? Or will it be Thai boxing royalty, Buakar Banchimek? will make history if he is awarded the max title however punch a lot more he forfeits the title so we have a new K1 champion! Enrico Kale becomes the new K1 Max champion! Buakha Benchimak forfeiting in round number four! Enrico Kale does it! In a very, very weird way, he becomes the new K1 Max champion! Um, Bizarre, bizarre, very bizarre, one of the most bizarre things that happened in martial arts. Uh, I'm sure Enrico was uh, ready to go.